Hello and welcome back to GL Simple. In this video, I will show you how we can uh, study the relation between the location of cholera casualties in London and the location of the public water pumps. As you may remember from our previous videos, this dataset is actually portraying the special distribution of cholera casualties in London back in the 1850s and uh, uh, we have a, a point shape file re representing uh, the location of cholera casualties these red dots and large squares squares large blue squares representing the location of public water pumps and uh, the outbreak of cholera in London uh, in Soho uh, was actually caused by one of these water pumps uh, whose water was actually polluted. So in this video I will show you one of the strategies that we can uh, use in order for us to uh, explore the uh, special relationship between the special distribution of cholera casualties and the location of these public water pumps. And uh, as a matter of fact, back in the 1850s, Dr. John Snows managed to uh, understand that the outbreak of the disease was caused by just one of these public water pumps. So the first step that, we'll, uh, that we uh, will take uh, for our purposes is to, to equally divide the space between uh, the public water pumps. And we will do this using the Thyssen polygons. And uh, we have to be reminded that we are dealing here with uh, uh, planar distance and not uh, with, um, with the distance along the roads. So we are just simplifying this case uh, for the sake of, uh, uh, of, of our example. And so to keep things simple, uh, simple we will use uh, this polygons as a tool to equally uh, divide the, sp uh, the space between the public water pumps. Mm -hmm. So we can go in our uh, toolbar and we can search for this tool, create these polygons, we click on the tool. And so uh, here you can see a brief explanation of what these polygons are. So each these polygon contains only a single point uh, input feature. Any location within a these polygon is closer to its associate, associated point than to any other point uh, input feature. So we uh, click on this drop down menu, we select the water pumps because we want the these polygons to be plotted around our water pumps. We give the name and path of the output uh, tits and polygons. So we can uh, put pump tits and we click OK. And so, as you can see, the space has been divided equally between our uh, water pumps. And so, each point falling, for example, within this, uh, inside this polygon is closer to the origin of this polygon than to the origin of uh, any other polygon. So if we open the attribute table of this uh, uh, vector shapefile, that is a polygon uh, shapefile, you will see that we have, for each polygon, we have an identifier. So in this, uh, in this case, for example, this polygon here is an identifier, 5, and the identifier, the identifier corresponds to the identifier of the origin of this polygon. So in this case, uh, the, um, the origin of this polygon is the water pump number, number 5, and so, and so on and so forth for the other points. For example, this one, uh, this polygon, as an identifier equal to 6, because uh, 6 is the identifier of, the, of this specific water pump. Now, in, in the, we need a second step in order for us to understand if there is any special relationship between 
uh, the, lo the location of cholera casualties and any of the public water pumps. And so we need to calculate uh, how many uh, ca um, uh, casualties location fall um, within each uh, this um, polygon, and we need to estimate the density of casualties within each polygon. And so we can uh, first, um, uh, do what is called a special join. So we click on uh, the uh, this polygon layer, and we select uh, join and relates, and we select join. So from this menu, we can see that. Uh, uh, mm, we can perform what is called a special join and uh, uh, that is joining data from another layer based on a special location. So we select the layer uh, to join to this layer, that is the layer that we want to join to the TSE polygon layer and this, uh, this, uh, this layer is the color depths. And in this case, we are joining points to polygon. And so, what we want to do is uh, to mm, tick this uh, menu here, this uh, uh, little square, sum. And so, each polygon, in, in our case, the, each this polygon, will be given a summary of the numeric attributes of the points that fall inside it and the count field showing how many points fall inside it. So we uh, click here and we give the name and path of the output join uh, vector layer. So we leave this default name, join output, and we click save, we click OK. We have a new this polygon layer and if we open the attribute table of this uh, polygon layer, we will see that we have new data stored in the attribute table. So for each polygon, we have, uh, as we already seen, an identifier, uh, which is indicating the origin of the polygon. And so in our case, uh, the water pump around which each polygon has been created. So for example, in this case, this polygon has as origin the water pump num number five, and so on and so forth for the other polygons, and on top and on top of that, we have another two columns, one that is labeled count, is uh, storing the count of how many uh, cholera casualties location fall within each this polygon, and a column uh, labeled uh, sum count, uh, which is storing the sum of the cholera casualties uh, that fall uh, within each TSM polygon. So if we take into account this TSM polygon here, which has been built around the uh, public uh, pump number five, we have in total 13 uh, cholera casualties location and a sum of 27 casualties. If we go back to our, uh, to our cholera deaths uh, attribute table, and if we select only the dots that fall within this, uh, uh, within this uh, polygon, we will see that we have a total of 13 points falling within this this polygon, and each dot is actually storing uh, different counts of deaths of cholera casualties. And the sum of these uh, uh, figures is equal to 27. And the same applies for the other, for the other polygons. We can deselect all these. And so the next step will be to calculate the density of casualties in each uh, area, in each polygon, in order for us to understand uh, if there is a, a higher density of uh, casualties around any particular 
uh, public water pump. So we go to the attribute table of the um, TSM polygons uh, with the special join, and we can add the new field, for example. We can add the new field with the, uh, in which we will store the area of each polygon area. We click OK, and then we can use this. Uh, we'll re right click on the area label, calculate geometry, click OK. We want to calculate the area in uh, with, uh, square square meters. We click OK, and ArcGIS has calculated the area in square meters in this case <coughs> for each TSM polygon. And then we need another calculated field in which we can store the density of cholera casualties for each TSM polygon. So we add another field, the name will be density. And we want a calculated field, so we go to field calculator. And so we want this field, density, being calculated uh, as follows. So it will be the, uh, the sum count, so is, this is the uh, sum of the cholera casualties in each TSM polygon divided by the area of each polygon. So we click OK, we open the table, and so you can see that we have different values representing the density of cholera casualties in each polygon. And we can use this new column to um, modify the, symbo the symbology of each polygon. So we click, double-click on our um, join output, so double-click on the layer representing the TSM polygon with the new information added. We click on quantities, graduated color, and we select density. We can click OK, and as you can see, the uh, red color is actually representing, representing the polygon that has the highest density of casualties. Uh, and so we can have a visual understanding of what is going on, of, of what was going on in, uh, in, in Soho back in, in the 1850s. And so the um, uh, area around this uh, water pump is actually scoring the highest, num the highest density of cholera casualties. And uh, it's not by chance if uh, uh, this public water pump was actually the one that was polluted and was actually causing the outbreak of the cholera. So that's all. If you like this video, please give a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. I see you in the next video.